We have a 1994 Briggs three and a half horsepower engine needs a carb rebuild. So I'm gonna go through how to rebuild it. Just taking a wire brush, just removing some of the larger scales of rust on this thing. Some of the bigger chunks of dirt. You're going to use carburetor cleaner or safety glasses. You're always going to get it sprayed right back in your eyes if you don't. Spray off the outside of the carburetor. Get all the dirt off. Spray through the carburetor. Blow out. Gasket residue left over in spots. Okay, let's take off the um, fuel pump diaphragm plate right here. Little torque screws. Four of them. Four months come by my trailer tomorrow. It doesn't help me out today. Remove the cover. You can see it's all gummed up in there. We need to clean that. The diaphragm is stiff. That means it's no good. That thing has to pulsate in and out to pump the gas up. It's junk. So we'll put a new diaphragm on. And you got your spring and your little spring. Um, it's like a little protective device so it doesn't punch through the diaphragm. Set that aside. What it does is it um, pulls gas up from the bottom of the tank up through here through here back out through here drops it back into the gas tank into the upper bowl right there so then it's you know that's only an inch and a half deep then the carburetor pulls it up through the main jet up into the carburetor making the engine run so we'll spray through Make sure that's nice and clean. Both ways. This is just to pass it straight through the tank. Just go straight back into the gas tank. This is just right into the the main body of the carburetor. Get another can of cleaner. Spray up through the main jet. 
completely clogged. Doesn't want to spray at all. So I'll actually take a little wire. I actually like to take a piece of just electrical wire, pull out one of the copper strands. I actually got a little thicker stuff right here. I have a couple different thicknesses. This copper in here is a little bit thicker. I actually use that. Clear out my hole. There it goes. The copper is nice because it's soft and won't really damage the brass because that's a specific size, a specific orifice size. I'm just going to pass it in and out, rotate it around. My main jet was completely clogged so there's no way in heck the engine would run, period. Now it's spraying up into the engine just fine. I'm gonna come back, but I'm gonna let the, you know, the carburetor cleaner sit in there and help it out, clean it out. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to the mixture screw. I'm gonna count how many screws in. I'm gonna screw it in lightly, so it's half, one, one and a half, about one and a quarter. So now I know when I put it back in where to where to set it. Generally with these Briggs and generally with these Briggs and Stratton, it's one and a half turns. So this is an actually one and three quarters actually. Pull all the way out. We got junk all over it. Drew it. Needle's dirty, but it doesn't have any pitting or anything on it. So, still good to use. 